Welcome to our demonstration this morning, where we're going to request a new employee to come into our organisation. So I'd like to introduce you to our first member of staff today. Our first member of staff is a gentleman called Fred Winner. Fred's going to take the role of our uh, sales manager in today's demo, and he's going to be going ahead and requesting the authority to re bring on a new member of staff into his sales team. So how will he do that? Well, let's take a look. If I come over into our forms area of our DocuWare solution here, you'll find some pre-built forms that are available to us to go ahead and onboard that new member of staff. And of course, Fred's going to be requesting the recruitment request form. And this, in true Blue Peter fashion, are filled out for us today. So we can go into our form here today and you'll be able to see, I've been able to select multiple areas of our form where I'm going to decide lots of information about our new member of staff. Of course, whether they're full or part time, they're working hours, put them on a permanent contract, their expected salary negotiations, the hours of work and so on and so forth. I've also been able to decide who am I going to request this authority for? Now, in this case, Peter King is going to take the role of our CEO within our demo today. So I'm going to be requesting authority from our CEO to go ahead and establish this budget so that we can hire a new person. I've given some descriptions and functions and, of course, a candidate profile there that we're going to be using to go ahead and onboard this member of staff. So really quickly, really easily, I can go ahead and submit my form. Now, of course, this form being remote, I can have this completed from anywhere on the planet, any time of day or night on any device that's most comfortable for me. Simply by submitting that, I'll get a nice clear message that lets me know exactly what's happened. But more importantly, actually, my form has already started to work its way around our business today. So let's have a look. We'll go and see, uh, see Peter's login here. And just by logging in as Peter, you'll see that Peter starts to receive a task. This task is really simple. He gets to go in, have a look at the request. You'll see that we've merged that data into one of our internal business documents. So we've been able to complete the information into our record here. And Peter can go ahead and make a decision. Either we can reject the request from, uh, from our, our sales manager there, give a little reason as to why. And of course, if I do that, that will trigger a notification to go back out to the sales manager just to let him know, OK, unfortunately, we're not going to be hiring a new person at the moment. I could choose to modify the request and say, well, actually, no, I agree with the request and we, we can go ahead and onboard a new person. But maybe we only want them to be part time or maybe we want to change their um, their starting salaries and things. So we have the opportunity to go ahead and do that. Or finally, I could go ahead and approve um, for the right person. So we'll go ahead and just confirm that we are going to be onboarding that new member of staff. And that budget has actually been assigned for Fred to go ahead and start making applications there. So before we can accept applications, we have to take one further step. And of course, that step is to inform our HR department. So probably no guess if I flick over to our person here, Simon Stone. Simon takes the role of our HR director. So he's going to be informed that actually we want to heart, uh, onboard a new member of staff. And simply by clicking on our link here, we can see the tasks. He can go ahead and see all the information. And of course, Simon can go ahead and place those applications anywhere he would normally do so. Indeed, out on the company website and of course, any other platform that he may find viable. Once he's done that, of course, he can go ahead and confirm this is now an open position that we can, of course, accept uh, applications for. You'll notice here that my list has just jumped up to three. And if I click on my list, we'll now see our open positions and our sales executive has been added to that list. So, of course, we now can start accepting applications for those. Thanks for your time today. Hopefully that's been useful. Hopefully we'll see you soon. Take care. Rico.